guys, this is Mr. Millings, and in this video, we are going to learn how to name and write the chemical formulas for hydrocarbons. So before we start naming and writing the chemical formulas for hydrocarbons, we should first start talking about what are hydrocarbons. So what is a hydrocarbon? Well, it says right here that a hydrocarbon is a chemical compound consisting of only hydrogen and carbon. And the majority of hydrocarbons found on Earth naturally occur in crude oil, which is made up of decomposed organic matter. And the thing about hydrocarbons is that there's millions of different hydrocarbons. And in fact, when you go on to further your education in chemistry, you might take organic chemistry. And a lot of organic chemistry is dealing with hydrocarbons. Okay, so there are millions of different types of hydrocarbons. And these guys have the ability to form extremely long chains, okay? So, if we take a look, we can see a little oil platform here. And what they're doing here is that they're drilling for uh, crude oil, right? Crude oil, which is uh, made up of a bunch of different types of hydrocarbons. And then it can be piped into a, a refinery, for example. If we take a look right here, here's a, a section of the Alaskan oil pipeline, which delivers oil that is uh, drilled for from, say, this oil platform to an oil refinery where they use different physical processes like fractional distillation to separate those different hydrocarbons that make up that oil. And then one of those components of uh, fractional distillation is actually gasoline, right? And so uh, that gasoline can be used to uh, travel to wherever it is you're going to go or hop on an airplane and go where it is, wherever it is that you need to go. All right, and so we can see a little oil tanker right here that's going to transport these, these uh, uh, the crude oil containing all these different hydrocarbons to different parts of the world. All right, so understand that hydrocarbons are chemical compounds that contain only hydrogen and carbon. For example, if we take a look right here, we have pentane. These little black balls represent carbon the white balls represent hydrogen all right so we have uh pentane right here we have heptane right here we have propane right here this is what you use when you uh, have that fourth of july barbecue uh let's see right here we have two butene we have two methyl propene and we have decane right here all right so in this short little video we're just going to learn how to name several different types of hydrocarbons we're not going to get into too much depth but hopefully by the end of this video, you will know how to write the chemical formulas and name several different types of hydrocarbons. And in a later video, we'll get into more detail as far as naming these different types of uh, hydrocarbons and the different isomers of uh, these different hydrocarbons. So the first type of hydrocarbon that we are going to learn how to name is called an alkane. So what is an alkane? Well, it says right here that an alkane is what is known as a saturated hydrocarbon. Okay, it's a saturated hydrocarbon. So what does that mean? Well, this means that every carbon atom in the carbon to carbon chain has the maximum number of hydrogens bonded to it as it can take and therefore has all single bonds between the carbon atoms. All right, so to name these alkanes, it's simple. It says to use the organic prefix that indicates the number of carbon atoms the hydrocarbon has followed by the suffix ane. Alkanes typically are going to have the chemical formula C subscript NH subscript 2N plus 2. Okay, so if we take a look right down here, when we're naming hydrocarbons, we have to memorize these organic prefixes. For example, if the hydrocarbon has one carbon atom, the prefix is going to be meth. If the hydrocarbon has two carbon atoms, it's going to be F. Three carbon atoms is prop. Four is bute. Five is pent. Six is hex. Seven is hep. Eight is oct. Nine is non. And ten is dec. All right, so these prefixes tell you how many carbon atoms that particular hydrocarbon is going to have and an alkane has this generic formula okay so where n here is the number of carbon atoms and then this formula right here is the number of hydrogen atoms so let's take a look here what if we're asked to write the chemical formula for methane we can see meth here so that means the carbon uh, i'm sorry this hydrocarbon is only going to have one carbon atom and we don't write subscripts of one so we'll just leave that as it is and then take a look so how many hydrogens will this have well if we plug one into this little formula right here two times one is two plus two is four so our chemical formula for methane is ch4 let's take a look at propane 
prefix prop, if you take a look, means three carbon atoms. So we're going to write C3. And then H, how many hydrogens will this have? Well, if we plug three into this formula right here, two times three is six plus two is eight. So C3H8 is going to be the correct chemical formula for propane. What if we're asked to name this? Well, we can see right here it's a hydrocarbon, and we see it has six carbon atoms. All right, so if we take a look right here, the prefix for six is hex. And then last but not least, we can see that 2 times 6 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So it fits this general formula right here, and so it's going to get the suffix ane. So put that together, you get hexane. If you take a look right here, we have 8 carbon atoms. That's going to be oct. And then 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is going to be 18. So the name of this is octane, right? A substance that can be found in gasoline. All right, so that's how we're going to name and write the chemical formulas for alkanes. Let's take a look at a different type of hydrocarbon called an alkene. Okay, so let's learn now how we're going to name and write the chemical formulas for a different type of hydrocarbon called an alkene. So what is an alkene? Well, it says right here that an alkene is what is known as an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Okay, so this means that one or more of the carbon atoms in the carbon to carbon chain does not have the maximum number of hydrogens bonded to it as it can take and therefore is going to have one or more double bonds in it. All right, so to name these different alkenes, it's simple. Use the organic prefixes that we just learned about that indicate the number of carbon atoms the hydrocarbon has, followed by the suffix ene. Alkenes have the chemical formula C subscript N, H subscript 2N. Okay, so here's our generic formula for an alkene, and here are the different uh, organic prefixes. You'll notice that meth is missing from this because if we have just one carbon atom then it's not going to have a double bond to a different carbon atom because it only has one carbon atom. Alright, so if we take a look right here, uh, we have ethene, right? Ethene. Well, what does the prefix eth mean? That means that there are two carbon atoms, right? And so if we plug this two into this formula right here, how many hydrogens will ethene have? Well, two times two is four. Okay, so ethene has the chemical formula C2H4. Let's take a look at octene. Oct. Oct means eight, right? So eight carbon atoms. And so how many hydrogens will octene have? It has an E-N-E -E ending, so it's going to fit this generic formula right here. If we plug eight into this little formula right here, two times eight is 16. So octene is C8H16. What if we're asked to name this? Well, we can see that it has four carbon atoms. So but is the organic prefix for four, as we see right here. And if we take a look, it has eight hydrogens, right? Two times four is eight. So it fits this generic formula right here. And therefore, we'll get the E-N-E -E ending for butene. If we take a look right here, we have seven carbons. And if we take a look right here, the prefix hep is going to be used. And it fits this formula right here, right? 2 times 7 is 14 hydrogens for heptene. All right, so that's how we're going to name and write the chemical formulas for alkenes. Let's take a look at a third and final hydrocarbon that we're going to learn how to name and write the chemical formulas for. Okay, so let's learn how to name and write chemical formulas for alkynes. So we've learned about alkanes, we've learned about alkenes, and so alkynes, it says right here that an alkyne is also known as a an unsaturated hydrocarbon and once again this is going to mean that one or more of the carbon atoms in the carbon to carbon chain does not have the maximum number of hydrogens bond to it bonded to it as it can take and therefore is going to have one or more triple bonds okay so alkanes all have single bonds alkenes have double bonds and alkynes are going to have one or more triple bonds in that carbon to carbon chain and so to name an alkyne it's simple we're going to use the organic prefixes that we've just learned about uh, that represent the number of carbon atoms in that hydrocarbon chain, followed by the suffix "-ine". Okay, so alkynes are going to have the formula, the generic formula, C subscript N, H subscript 2N minus 2, that we see right here. So let's take a look at pentine. If we had to write the chemical formula for pentine, we can see that pent is going to be five carbon atoms, so C5. And then it's going to fit this generic formula right here because it has a Y-N-E ending. So 2 times 5 is 10 minus 2 is 8. 
So C5H8 is the chemical formula for pentyne. Let's take a look at ethyne. F is 2. If we take a look, F is 2. And so it has two carbon atoms. And if we plug 2 into this formula right here, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 is 2. So C2H2 is going to be the correct chemical formula for ethyne. What if we're working the other way? What if we're given the formula and we're asked to name it? So we have C9. If we take a look, the prefix for 9 is non, so N-O-N. And then if we take a look, 2 times 9 is 18, minus 2 is 16. So we're talking about an alkyne here, and it's going to get the Y-N-E ending for nonine. Let's take a look right here, C6. H10. It's got six carbon atoms, so the prefix is going to be hex. And then take a look. 2 times 6 is 12, minus 2 is 10. So it fits this generic formula of an alkyne, and we'll get the suffix Y and E. Put this together, and you get hexine. All right, so that's how we're going to name and write the chemical formulas for alkenes, alkanes, and alkynes. And so now let's get a set of problems that you can try on your own. Okay, so what I would do right now is pause this video and try these out on your own. Try to figure out the chemical formula for ethane. Try to uh, name C6H10 over here. Try to write the chemical formula for hexene. And try to name C4H6 over here and so on and so on. And see how you did. So go ahead and pause the video. I'm about to fast forward this and show you guys the answers. So if you don't want to see it, click pause right now. And so here you go. Here are the answers. How did you do? Okay, so hopefully you got these all right, and if you got these all right, then you're a pro at naming alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right-hand corner, and that will subscribe you to my channel, and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section down below, and I really hope you guys found this helpful.